Super Lux headphones. Yeah. Hey, welcome back. How you doing? So I thought I would give these a, a try. Uh, they were quite... Um, they got quite good ratings online from a, a few different uh, areas that I looked at. Or sites, I should say. And a lot of people were saying great things about them. So I decided... And, of course, the price dropped a little bit on them, so I said, well, let's give it a try. And I bought these a little, about two months ago, and uh, got them here. This is the packaging. Uh, <laughs> you don't get much for packaging. It's very, very, whatever you want to call it. Just not much. Just cardboard and a wrap. That's all it is. Cardboard and a wrap. So there's some specs there. Comes with a bag too, showing the picture there. I didn't bring the bag for the for this little review, but anyways, to the headphones. These aren't too bad, and considering the price that I paid for them, I decided to keep them. Um, like a kind of a spring-loaded thing there. They don't feel, uh, as far as comfort is concerned, they're they're not bad. Uh, I'm not really too keen on this. Uh, this is kind of like just a piece of I don't know what kind of material it is like a, it's almost like a leathery kind of plastic leathery kind of material on the top there but I don't really like that because it kind of feels like you're just wrapping a piece of cardboard around your head so <laughs> it's not very comfortable in my opinion I, I prefer uh, I prefer some kind of padding on the on the, the headband um, but the ear the ear cuffs or they're fine they're not too bad. They are that kind of a cheaper kind of leathery, fake leathery kind of thing. Pleather or whatever, what do you call it? But uh, these are semi open back headphones. Semi open back, so they have a little bit of opening inside here. It's hard to really tell. Uh, they got a little bit of leakage. You can hear a little bit of outside noise. It's not too bad though. And of course the uh, wire is built in. Which is, again, which is good and bad. It all depends on uh, your preference. I don't mind. I'm not mind. I don't mind that one too much. Now, as far as sound quality is concerned on these guys, on these headphones, uh, they do have, considering the price, you know, I think I only paid around $55 for them when they went on sale. And considering the, that price, they are actually re very good sound quality wise now they ba the balance is really nice they don't have quite the, the low bass that the bear dynamics produce but they still sound pretty good and 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 they're quite detailed too quite a detailed sound to them mid-range is fine high ends are fine i don't find them too bright i've heard other people say that they found them too bright i don't really find that but i guess it all depends on your setup too and what's you know what sources is being pumped through them right the build is is kind of it's a little on the plastic side, a little bit light and plasticky, but I don't find them to be, you know, too flimsy feeling, if you know what I mean. I feel like if you take care of them, you know, you probably get a few years out of them at least. But not bad for for you know lower priced headphones. I would definitely recommend them if you can get them, you know, cheaper. Uh, this not that, this is not a set of headphones that I would have paid two hundred dollars for. No, <laughs> um, but they are very good for for that price range. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, this is the review of the Superlux HD six eighty one. Not bad, not bad headphones. I will say. Thanks for watching and take care.